Hello again. It's Wednesday, June 17th, 2020. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. Kim's Fab Five Boutique held a nice ribbon cutting and grand opening ceremony in downtown Covington earlier today. Here's owner Kim Anderson talking about her business. Paparazzi accessories, anyone who is familiar with it knows it's the $5 fashion. It's fun, it's afford affordable, and you can usually find something for every outfit. Um, that is the main goal of Paparazzi when they first started this company back in 2010 was to make fashion affordable to women, for to be uplifting, you know, allow them to be able to put on a new piece of accessories and just really just bring up their spirits and then it's just grown to what it is today. Two Chamber of Commerce notes. First, a few more volunteers are needed for this weekend's Grand Fondo event. Call the Chamber at 962-2178. And get ready for the Jackson River Scenic Trail Marathon, Half Marathon, 10K, and 5K race. That cool event is set June 27th. And now a word from our sponsor. The Covington High School Athletic Department released a statement today dealing with guidelines and restrictions. The Virginia High School League's Executive Committee will meet on June 25th on the issue, and after that, athletic plans will get finalized. The city is also working on a plan to allow competitive athletics after its Tuesday City Council meeting. Governor Ralph Northam announced Tuesday that Juneteenth, the oldest known commemoration of the end of slavery, would be marked this year on Friday with a paid holiday for state workers. He's also planning to make it a permanent state holiday. And we'll be right back. And now for local obituaries. Randall Jones, 60 of Lewisburg, died Sunday. James Smalls, 89 of Buena Vista, died last Friday. Emily Sorrells, 79 of Buena Vista, died last Saturday. Robert Fitzgerald, 62 of Glasgow, died Sunday. Glory Early, 81 of Glasgow, died June 10th. Carl Graves Jr., 62 of Rockbridge County, died June 11th. Martin Taylor Jr., 74 of Buena Vista, died last Friday. Delma Spinks, 63 of White Sulphur Springs, died on Monday. Susan Anderson, 76, formerly of Covington, died last Friday. Ailey Dale, 92, formerly of Buena Vista, died June 9th. And June Carter, 89 of Clifton Forge, died on Tuesday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Thursday, it should be cloudy with showers, high of 73 and a low of 58. On Friday, mostly cloudy with showers, high of 78 and a low of 61. And on Saturday, partly cloudy with showers likely high of 82 and a low of 63 degrees. And that's the way it is on Wednesday, June 17th, 2020. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.